Well, good evening. We're here on February 10th, 2018 at Everett Arena for a 7.30 game, one of the few uh, late games that Concord has had this year. And uh, we have... Uh, we have uh, Burgess in goal, Spencer Burgess, and Concord will be playing the Exeter, are they Blue Hawks, Peter? Is that what they call them? Exeter Blue Hawks. Exeter Blue Hawks. So I'm color man, that's my job, I'm going home. Crimson Tide against the Blue Hawks. Concord is... Uh, Jude Rogel's in net for the Blue Hawks tonight, yeah. number one. So Concord is uh, in uh, second place. Uh, 10 and 2. They lost last night down at Girton in OT, and Exeter is in ninth place at 5 and 7. But Exeter is always tough. Uh, we've seen them upset Concord in the playoffs in the past. So we're looking pretty good here, Peter. So take it away. And the Crimson Tide try to dump it in off the opening draw, but back into the zone. Played by O'Brien, harassed the whole way. Concord had a game last night, so. We'll see how they come out tonight, if they're tired or if they're Castle. energetic. Castle dumps it in. Lost uh, in overtime to Bishop Girton, 3-4. to four. Shot. Castle back the other way. O'Brien in front of the defender. And icing is the call. I thought he tipped it, but I guess not. He did, but on the other side of the red line. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, uh, we were talking to uh, Coach uh, Walsh. Uh, Concord was up 3-1, and the paper had a story. Concord was up 3-1 after one, and uh, Livingston had a hat trick. His, I think his third hat trick of the year. Had one in Nashua and uh, one here. And two power play goals in the second period enabled uh, Pinkett, uh, excuse me, Bishop Girton to come back and tie it, and then in OT. In OT, it uh, Girton won. So always tough, Girton. Oh, hit from behind. No call. Well, Concord's second line out there, Philbrick. Right at his feet, never saw it. Hostile tries to send it down. Blocked it. And somebody's mouth guard already on the ice. Yeah. Blue Hawks go for a change. Norton sends it up to Huschild. They cut in front. Centering pass shot. Burgess lucky to get a piece of that one under his uh, pad there. Yeah. Now a quick setup in the faceoff circle. A um, little quicker. I did the girls' game last night, uh, <laughs> yesterday afternoon, and. Uh, did play by play in camera, but boy, uh, the, the, this guy, these are in fast forward compared with the girls. Well, they can't hit. There's a lot of things they can't do. Yeah. Dumped back in, played out. Played by Alex Ford over. Paquette up to McKinnon. And dumped in. Dumps it in. Riley down. Able to pull it out. To Paquette. In through McKinnon's. Wow, Score. that went right through McKinnon's legs. Now he I'm not he sure if he got he the tip. He jumped and it went through. <laughs> well, Conkin on the board. Uh, 2 207 into the game. Well, Stoddard leads the pack, so he must have got it. Only a freshman, but boy. Stoddard, Paquette, and uh, you get the call down. Ma Macris, I think. Well, conk it up, one nothing. Yeah, from uh, D to D, one point to the other, and then the shot through a crowd found its way through. I think the save initially was made, and then uh, Stoddard was there to uh, pick it up. Dumped in. La Riviere dumps it in, taking the pass. La Riviere behind the net, pinned, but able to escape. Pass back. Livingston. Livingston takes the shot. 
Castle can't tip it. Castle makes a nice move. Castle throws it at the net, score! Well, Conquer, Quickly uh, on the board with two goals here. 3-10, 3-10, so Castle circles the net and waits and picks. Well, three shots 24 on, unassisted. Three shots on goal for Concord and uh, two have gone in and uh, one more and I think I'd be calling my time out for uh, Exeter, I don't know, but Number 20 kicks it in, Keller. Keller yeah. <coughs> so Concord certainly showing no uh, ill effects for playing last night, no rust. Well, you did say that they were up three to one too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, both 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 goals in the second period that tied it up were uh, power play goals, and uh, <laughs> the coach indicated that one of them was a was a five on three, so it's tough to do anything. Well, that, I, I don't think you'll see any uh, any rust early. You know, they played last night. Yeah. I think you'll see it, may, you know, see where, where they're at in the third, the period, third period, the middle of the second, third period. Yeah. Well, they're... That was two. O'Brien. What do you say the third one? Was it Stoddard? Yes, I thought Stoddard had it, but. Score! Riley! Wow! <laughs> so we got it. They, they brought their uh, offense here today. So three goals in four, four minutes and 12 <laughs> seconds. And I think it's time for uh, Exeter to take a, take a time out here. What do you think? I'm going to change goalies. That sounds like a wow. Number 35 is going to go in, and uh, they're going to go with uh, the freshman, Jared Canton. Well, he's doing a little stretch in there. He warmed up just a few minutes ago. Probably in the pregame, so he's so Brian from Philbrick, and I think he said Stoddard, and then. Castle with an unassisted goal, and now Riley with a goal. I'm not sure if there was an assist on that one. We'll get the call. They're they're behind on the calls. It's been, happened so fast. Yeah. Riley again. Riley skating it up. Takes a shot to the up. Wow. He just got a stick on that. Yeah. That was a beautiful shot to the far upper corner. Co upper corner, yeah. He j I think he got the butt of the stick on I it. I think so. I think so. I've seen a few saves like that through the years. Not many. Forward in a battle along the board. Stoddard up, pushes it up to Paquette. Nice move. Got him in a change. Paquette with a laser Ooh, beam boy. at the netminder. Conquer boy. changing. Uh, <laughs> Lerivier dumps it in over to Castle. Back the other way. Offside. Offsides. Wow, I think. Uh, Uh, I think Exeter's a little shell shocked here right now. Yeah, well, I think the goalie's. Uh... Oh, Castle with a big hit. And that's icing. No? Oh, well, he said it was tipped by the skate, I guess. Oh, this will be I didn't see this'll that. This will be icing. Oh. Okay, now I, know, now I don't know what icing is. <laughs> no, I, I think they made up for the other one. <laughs> <laughs> probably, that's probably you're right. La Riviere carries it in. Nice move, left his feet, dumps it back in front. Oh, oh wow, Livingston couldn't get a shot uh, off. He was right there. Had, had the goalie down and out too. Sullivan pulls it out. Through the crease, Castle. Castle with a pass, has Livingston, dumps it in, they'll the go change. for the change. Uh, 
Offside. Hits a skate. So we got a good Saturday night crowd up there. Uh, So Pacat has two assists on the night. That'll be icing. Well, it's going to be on net. No, it curls wide. That'll be icing. Spinning. Yeah, it was heading. It was heading right for the net, and because it was uh, spinning on its edge. Well, there we are. Three goals on six shots. Yeah, well, Concord came to play. So we don't know who their regular netminder is, I, you know. Well, the sophomore was in, now the freshman's in, so. <coughs> that one hit, hit him and landed on him. Yeah. Well, Concord, you know, uh, Concord has the philosophy of throw it on net, you know, never know what's going to happen, and, you know, you got people crashing the net, too. That first one, though, went right through his legs. That was beautiful. <laughs> And this one tipped away from Paquette. He's able to cut down the defender. Shot! Oh, wow. That was a good opportunity for them. They blew it. Yeah, I wondered if they were going to call it, call it on the uh, Concord player getting hauled down, but I guess it was a legitimate check. Lifted. And they'll change. McKinnon behind the play, plays it. Oh, oh. my God, what a hit. Uh, <laughs> Starting to hit Just now. like that old Timex commercial. Takes a licking and still ticking. Boy, that was as hard a check as I've seen all year. And they both get up and. In front. Shot, dead center. Burgess right on it. Oh. Still plenty of time in this game, and the players know that. They're not going to give up. Yeah, well, that's Three it. goals well, is not uh, insurmountable. Well, that's that's why we haven't even just, just passed half a period of hockey, so not even a. Oh. Concord wins the draw, sent around to Riley. Riley passes it over to Stoddard, up the middle, Stoddard. From behind, oh, did he get it? No, wow, the netminder, the way he was acting. Cleared out in front. Concord checks up. I don't think the netminder knew where it was. He thought it went under him. Sullivan over, Exeter changes, quick changes here. Pass across. And lifted out by Livingston. Change again, Crimson Tide. Yeah, well, I think they probably changed him a little quicker. They had a game last night, too. That might be a reason to keep him fresh. Brian sends it up to Castle. Nip, nifty pirouette. Played off. Up. Played off of Livingston. Oh my God! Oh, well, they're gonna wow. get a, they're he gonna lifted get, him up off his skate. There's gonna be a penalty on that one. Yeah. That might be a boarding call, huh? Oh, another big hit at the other end. Yeah. Rough. Oh. Boarding? I would think so. Could be a charge. Now he called it roughing. Roughing. Well, he lifted him off the ground and threw him. So. Oh, yeah, we had that one. Five uh, on camera. 527 in the left in the first period. Uh, we'll see how Conk it does on its uh, penalty kill here. Kelleher along the boards. 
Oh, good kill on the yeah, clock. Yeah, killing oh. some clock there. Doing a good job. Oh. Oh, no trip. Oh. Shot. Glove save, Burgess. He makes the lunge. 30 and... seconds gone from the power play. Although, actually, Peter, uh, not to speak too soon, uh, Concord's team has been pretty penalty-free this year compared to past years. Oh, we've seen fewer penalties, I think, this year. For, for all teams, really, but... Yeah. I mean, we're... We're really usually seeing a lot of penalties in the Brady game. We didn't see that many at all. Kelleher in, shorthanded. Kelleher settles it, goes for the corner. Paquette there. Paquette plays it into the corner. Down to ah, sorry, Philbrick. <laughs> down, to, down to 50 seconds on the power play. <clears throat> Skates it in, tries to tip it in the corner, played around by Norton. Uh, Kept in. Unable to get it out. We got Philbrick, Kelleher, forward, and Anders Norton out there. 15 seconds left on the power play. Well, they're setting it up pretty well. Three, two, one. Has expired. And Riley on the ice. And this one just cleared out. Concord will go for the change. As does uh, Exeter. Forward skates it up. Oh. Offsides. Number 17 unable to get back there. Shane Riley. 3.09 left, Concord kills that power play. 3 nothing after, uh, still in the first period here. Concord scored three within, uh, what, less than five minutes. Yeah, it was like four minutes and 12 seconds. Macris with a nice hip check. Uh, oh, by the way, check. <laughs> it's getting a little rough. Yeah. Forward, I mean, <laughs> Stoddard. Wow, off the netminder. Wow. Out in front. Concord comes away with it. Like, oh! oh. <laughs> That's some big hits boy. going on here. Yeah. Stoddard had his speed, he didn't see it. That'll be icing. 2.10 to play in the period. Well, I think they're going to have to reset the boards here after this game, Peter. <laughs> I've seen, I, I haven't heard the boards rattle as much this year. I mean, they're, they're a, uh, we talked about it early. We were, they're a big team. It's a couple of big the, guys. Yeah. And, and this guy over here, what's it, 20, uh, yeah. 12? I can't see his first number there. Yeah. That's pretty tall. And 18, Seven. I saw he was pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have heights and weights for Exeter. So. I got a penalty here. Somebody for holding. Looks like the looks biggest like Conk guy. For looks like Conkett's going to have Conkett's going to have a power play here, Peter. Number seven going off for holding. So Conkett will have a power play for the rest of the period and one second in the second period, barring a score. Castle taking the face off. Look at the tie for the Crimson Tide. We got two, one, nine, two at 190, Burgess and Roby. For uh, heaviest on the team. But. I mean, Burgess is 
Castle avoids a check. Teed up, there it score! Is. Living up! Yeah, Drew Livingston. <laughs> 23, Livingston gets his fourth goal in the last uh, 24 hours. Power play goal. Boy, I took a slap shot from just about from the dot, a little bit off the dot. That was fast, too. Less than, uh, we got 28 seconds here. Yeah, well. Yeah, he was going to pass it back to the point, and the uh, defender was there to intercept the pass, so he... Uh, Wasn't sure what he said. He might have said two. We'll see with the assist. Picked uh. back the other way. Norton doing a good job of breaking that one up. Played around to Castle. Castle sees it coming. Oh, Ducks. nice. Up the middle, Livingston. I mean, La Riviere. Sorry. Oh, my. Been a long day. <laughs> well, a lot of scoring, Peter. You better. You're going to have to uh, make you uh, do your homework here on between the periods if we recount scoring at some point. And that one hit the safety net yeah. with 43 seconds to play in the period. Well, conquered out. So Livingston from Castle and O'Brien. Power play goal. Shot. Great save. Us child tries to feed Kelleher back the other way. 13 seconds. I'll just hold it. Nope. I'll carry it up. Six, four, three. Kelleher with a shot. Save and time expires in the first period. So but not for for the Crimson Tide, but a hurting on him. <laughs> four to nothing after one. No, oh, but you know, usually, not a hundred percent of the time, but usually. The guy that scores is the first in line for the for the high fives, you know. Yeah. So. so we're back for the second period here. It's uh, four nothing Concord, and uh, they changed the scoring on that first goal to Stoddard, who had led the pack. Stoddard from Paquette and forward, which I had written down as uh, Stoddard with the assist after they changed it. So. So we'll see if uh, uh, Exeter can climb back in the game here. They've got to get a quick goal or two. <coughs> Concord certainly is not going to. They were up 3-1 uh, last night, and they had a couple power play goals against them. They lost an OT to Gretton down in Tingsboro. Oh, nice. Castle oh, poked away. Had good position there. Yeah. Sullivan reached out and sent that one back in. Kept in. Pass in front. Oh, nice little ticky tack back and forth. They couldn't connect. Might have tried a backhand, but not letting them get in front. La Riviere in. Has O'Brien! What a wow. pass. Wow. Picks it. That was beautiful. That kind of knuckled down, and O'Brien just got the stick on and it. Just as it came down, he peach, he flicked at it, and it went in. So Concord goes up 5 nothing here, uh, minute three into the second period. Now that was an O'Brien goal. <laughs> yeah. From Castle. Now he's got an, an, an assist and a uh, goal here, which is, he's a defenseman. I uh, Oh, it's nice to get some production. And, you know, that's, that's one of the things about Concord is... Uh, he just chopped that down, and it looked like it might have gone five-hole yeah. there. 
That's one of the things with Concord. Uh, you know, some teams come in with a big, a big star and. La Riviere backhand towards the net. Big pile. Back the other way. One goal away from running time for next period. Yeah, well, we, we were. We what, were you, what did you say? I was joking with the coach saying, well, someplace between running time and OT, but uh, <laughs> looks like it's going to be uh, maybe we won't speak too soon and jinx it. So no. Conk it up five, five goals here early in the second period. Now, on the last time we went to running time, Charlie forgot to turn the camera on for the third yeah, period. Yeah, so well, so we, won't, we won't forget it this time here. <laughs> We apologize, but you won't be seeing that game on Conquer TV. <laughs> oh, shot save. Yeah, Conquered a little careless in trying to move it out. Glove down. Kelleher with a hit. Can't pull it away, but Conquered will clear it. Tipped up by Philbrick. Back to Philbrick, he dumps it in, Concord changes. Right down below us. Nice pass, Exeter. Poked away by Sullivan. That one will carry up high, didn't touch the net though. Exeter right up the middle, shot right on point. Nice positioning by Burgess there. Oof. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see a little more hitting here. Hmm. McKinnon. That guy tried to hit him and he delivered a hit himself. Riley looking for a second. Shot carries up into the net. Sends it around, played out by Macris, held up by Riley. Sent back around to Norton. Norton over, feeds Macris, coming up the middle. Thought he was gonna dump it back for Stoddard, he didn't. Stoddard behind the net, gets by. Zach Drew, 22 out on the ice for Crimson Tide. Along with number five, Graham Lewis. Some players we don't usually see get some ice time here. 15 also, uh, Colin O'Brien. So 10.56 left, second period. Conk it up, 5 nothing. 13 to five on shots. And an equipment problem here with the netminder. So well, we got the uh, the replacement goaltender in. He changed what after four and a half minutes in the first yeah, period. Yeah, after they gave up four goals, he's only given up one, and that was a nice, nice chop shot there by O'Brien. Yeah. Well, that's that's the old theory there. Shoot it at the net. Somebody may be there, or who knows what's going to happen. You, you, if you don't get up the bat, you can't strike out, or you can't hit a home run. If you don't shoot at the net, it's not going to go in. I mean, that was difficult, though. I mean, he had to really. Chopped down on that because it was about a foot off the ice. Oh, Maybe yeah. a little higher than that. Yeah. Well, it was a saucer pass that didn't uh, didn't come down. Crimson Tide win the draw. Forward with the shot. Oh, it went off an Exeter player Graham toward Moore. the net. O'Brien oh. over with the hit. Sullivan has the puck. He'll dump it in. So Conker got some uh, down the bench players that don't get a lot of ice time. Sullivan plays it back and out. Played in and no icing. Cole. Change for the tide. Colin O'Brien. First line. Except for. Uh, Looks like Graham Lewis is still out there. 
And he'll head to the bench. La Riviere on the ice for him. Castle pulls that one away. And Sullivan stepped into that one. A little traffic jam. Penalty. penalty. What was there? A slash or a? Well, it's on Concord. Hooking. Hooking. Like number four heading there. Number 24, Castle. Second penalty for Castle tonight. Well. Well, we'll see what Exeter can do on a power play here with the 9.33 left. I don't know. I didn't see it, but it couldn't have been too brutal because nobody went down. Yeah, well. Well, Exeter's setting up a pretty good power play here. <coughs> well, they did the last time. Well, the, you know, uh, Coach Tufts been there for quite a while. He's one of the deans along of the coaching ranks. He also coaches soccer. He has a well-schooled team, and uh, we know to spread out and look for the open shot. That one was played out. They're off sides. Would be. <coughs> Sullivan doing a good job there, shadowing his man. Okay. Shot, save, rebound. Stoddard will carry it up. Stoddard alone cuts between the defense and has it pulled away, but. It's pretty shifty. He's only a freshman. We hope he stays around for a while. He's a good skater. Well, he's put the puck in the net. He too. has many times. Put the puck in the net. 30 seconds left on the power play here. Exeter sends, uh, Concord sends it down. We're down to just about 15 seconds left in that power play. Oh yeah, shot on net. <laughs> Norton. Yeah, yeah, he got and it. And no icing yeah. because the penalty was just about to expire. Two, so two they're seconds, at full Two seconds now. left. Norton again has the puck. This time he can't do that. <laughs> but it was a good move by him. He was fully aware of the clock. It's going to be harder, too, because before you could look up the end and see it. Yeah. It must be harder for the players to see it, or maybe not. Well, from you've the got side sides. you can, but if you're in the center ice, it's tough. Well, yeah, yeah. Once you cross the center ice, and he that's where he was, so. Concord unable to get it out. Uh, icing wrong side of the yeah. one stride too short. And there's the uh, biggest blade in town up there. Huh. We specialize in assists. The uh, Merrimack County add up behind the uh, goal. 6.53 left, second period. So we're past the halfway mark. Conk it up, 5 nothing. Exit are pressing, but uh, unable to tickle the twine. <laughs> uh. Get that, what I call the fourth line back out there. Oh, nice save by Burgess and there score. It is. Left Picks a, rebound. Up a rebound. Nice initial save there on the with the pad. The kick 
Kick save. Number, twin, number two leads the way, so he must have got the goal. It's uh, Owen Berry, junior forward. Both sides change up, so uh, Exeter gets on the on the board just past the halfway mark in the uh, second period. 6.20 left. I think he said 2.18.9, but I'll wait and see what he yeah. says. He's got a pretty soft voice. Oh, we lost an edge and skate <laughs> slid all the way down. <coughs> Riley passes it over, it gets by. Exeter looks like they gained a step. That'll be right. no, no icing. Got a little energy from that goal. Yeah, out the center. Well, we are late in the second period. We'll wait and see what the Crimson Tide here, how much energy they have. Yeah, we are worried about that. Yeah, they look like they're a little slow right now. Well, they got to weather the storm here. Five more minutes this period. Macris hit. And tipped chip, out. Chip to center. Crimson Tide go for a change. Shot, glove save, Burgess. All First right. line on the ice for the Tide. So it was 218-9. Owen Berry, Evan Vadaboncor. Oh, oh, oh. And Tommy Savillo. I got a call back. Offside call. 23, uh, Livingston was a little incredulous there. Concord's won most of the face-offs here. Really Castle. good on the faceoff. Castle tried to pass across to Livingston. I mean, yeah. Why am I second guessing myself tonight? Yeah. I took a nap. I shouldn't have taken a nap. Well, actually, just fell asleep in the chair. <laughs> well, it's called getting old, Peter. I take a nap. I know, took a nap I before know. tonight's game, figuring I. Uh, I want to make sure we had that red light on for the whole four, three periods here. Backhand attempt. Philbrick played to O'Brien. O'Brien has his pass blocked. He batted out of there nicely, settles the puck. S second shot. He'll get a third maybe. No, he sends it back down. Concord looking like they're on. Oh, score! Right, right, Beautiful! Is. Castle, Castle. through the crease. He just threw it in the yeah. corner there. Stick side. So Concord goes up 6-1 with 3.40, 3.42 left. So Castle, I think O'Brien will get an assist on that. 24-2. Castle from O'Brien. So they get that one back, with, get their five goal lead back. Huschild there. He had a couple assists last night, I think. Oh, <laughs> kind of an tied up there with 15. Kind of, a, kind of an excuse me check, huh? <laughs> a nice to meet you check. <laughs> yeah. Oh, forward. Shot, hit him in the mask, rebound. Wow, Philbrick on the doorstep that went right into his glove. Yeah, well. Two he had his glove down on the ice. It's 
Stoddard will take the draw. And yeah. they had too many men on the ice here. And they'll throw him out. Stoddard wins the draw, back to forward, sends it over. Shot, deflected wide. Back the other way. Right up the middle, Stoddard. Stoddard takes the shot, low, Riley there. Behind the play, score! There it is. Anders Norton. <laughs> Everybody's getting in on that party. Oh, we're up to seven to one here. It was like a jailbreak. Everybody was crashing the net, and the wow. rebound came way out. 2.34 left. Didn't. He's got a quiet voice, man. He, I hear the first one, and then he, yeah, he tails well, off. <laughs> well, Miss Suitcase Potozak over there, he's got a loud voice. I think 16's got to be in there, because he was, I think he took the initial shot, so. Oh. Oh, passed it right back broke, to. Stick broke, had to drop his stick. That freshman line back out there, it looks like. 2.10 left in the second period. Conk it up, 7-1. to one. Freshman line, uh, Graham Lewis, Colin O'Brien, and Zach Drew. With Colin up, oh, penalty. Oh. Is O'Brien going to the sin bin? I don't know what the call is there. What happened? I don't yeah, know. Cross oh, check. Cross check. Yep. Who and though? So Alex. Alex forward gets the goal. So McKinnon and Stoddard assists on the on the Anders Norton goal. So power play for and, uh, Exeter, 145 left. Brian goes to the sin bin. We're going to running time unless Exeter scores on this power play. Not to jinx him. The stick was stuck in the, in the boards there. Lost it and got it back. Shot hit the outside of the net. He was off on that. Cutting through and Conquer batted gets away. It gets it out. 115 left in the period. And There's a 15 missed. second difference between the yeah. penalty kill and the, the clock. So they'll come out on a power play if Phil, they don't score here in Phil the next Brick, last Phil, minute. Phil Brick there. Dobrik sends it over. Burgess covering up the point there, save. Uh, Behind the play, played uh, with a high stick. Uh, we'll have the face off down there with 39.1 seconds left. Conk will be playing on the 14th down at the uh, ice den down and hooks it down behind uh, Coles in Manchester. Yeah, you kind of drive right yeah, down eight. through that. All the way down. Like you mini mall there. Like you lost. Keep going down. Just go down and on the left down in there. And uh, Pinkerton lost to uh, down to 15 seconds here. It's a nice place to watch a game because they got a whole room up there that's all warm. If you don't want to go down, on, you can watch it from up in there. Shot wide, four seconds, two. You got a penalty. 
No, is it a penalty a, or? No, I think a, it's a bad. Yeah, you know, we got a penalty. No, oh, bad that, no, I lost the puck. He's, getting, he's yeah. looking for another puck. Yeah, I'm gonna throw Puck's it out, out here. Puck's out of play. So uh, gonna, oh. oh, I thought he was gonna go to the. No, well, not with 1.8 seconds. We've seen we've seen goals scored uh, in shorter periods than that, but. Uh, So, there so we <laughs> Exeter gets one, Concord gets three more. 7 1 after two. We'll be back. So, uh, they've redone the ice, uh, and Concord is up 7 to 1. Which means running time. Running which time. means we go to bed early tonight. It's uh, what time is it now? It's about eight. This was oh, at a 7:30 game. We must be pushing nine o'clock, Peter. What are we doing here? 8:46 p.m. 8:46. So we got 22 out there. Uh, Zach Drew, Concord's putting out uh, some of their other players, not looking to pile it on, but give them some uh, opportunity. We got 15 out there with him. Colin O'Brien. And who's that's, that over there? Uh, Number 10 on the other side. That's uh, Anders Norton. Norton. It's that freshman line minus one because of the power play. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got what? Which oh, is expiring right now. Power play is over. Oh, you can, oh. And Graham Lewis comes on the ice to complete the freshman line there. Save. Burgess. We still got Burgess in there? I don't think so. Who's that? That's 29. I think 29's in there. I think they switched up goalies. Yeah. Parker Taylor's in there. Yeah. He, he didn't look as big. <laughs> oh, that one knuckles down. Oh, nice save, save, Taylor. We always got to check that because we were like almost the whole period calling the wrong guy in that. Uh, yeah. We got a little bit in trouble from a family member. Doing that. Yeah. Honk, <laughs> it changes up. The ice. Icing. Oh, and there's our running time, folks. So, uh, Concord is at, we said that, Concord is at uh, the Ice Den uh, on Valentine's Day. They're back here on the 21st against Hanover. They'll be playing Hanover up in Hanover on the 20th, so they'll play two days in a row. Hanover is in uh, first place with only one loss. <laughs> Riley just cutting back and forth. Boy. Nice move there. Still, ha oh, I was going to say, still has it. Kicks it over to Stoddard. Oh, yeah. Adam Duncan. Adam Duncan. <laughs> You're the goalie, you got the most pads. You shouldn't be ducking like that. <laughs> to be icing. So started only a freshman. He's got good size. And he's uh, <laughs> had some assists and is he got it started got a goal tonight or Yeah, he got the first one. Yeah. He got the first one and he got an assist on the last one. Yeah, he's been he's been regularly on the score sheet. Philbrick has it. Tipped high. Is that Kelleher? Kelleher with Hustchild and Philbrick. Norton and Sullivan on defense. Kelleher dumps it in the corner. Philbrick behind the net. Down is Norton. Hustchild, oh, he tried to make a move out in front. Tries to walk it in. 
Norton keeps it in. Good job, Hustle uh, over. Dumps get, it down. Get, get ready for an icing from uh, uh, oh, yeah. Exeter. They're, they're looking a little gassed out there. There it is. There it is. No, oh. they break it out. They do change up behind the play. Anders Norton over. Passed over to Sullivan. Crimson Tide changing up behind the play. It's like first line for Crimson Tide. Ooh. Rivier tries to clear Sullivan, finishes it. A little scrum. Exeter pass across, shot blocked by Norton. Played up to Castle. Castle in. Oh, nice move. Man, that kid can skate, huh? Shot Livingston! Castle to Livingston. Yeah, I think Livingston got it, and the 18 was there to ram it He was it there, but it was already in. It was already in. So uh, we go up 8-1. to one. So Livingston gets his... I think that's a hat trick. Yeah, is that a hat trick? He had a hat trick last night. So Livingston is on fire. Six goals in a. Oh wait, no, I was thinking that's Castle. So that Castle with the hat would have been the hat trick. So that's Livingston's second goal. Okay. So he had, so he had three last night. All three for Concord last night. And five breaking it in. It's hard Just to keep track. Eight goals. <laughs> Well, we got a penalty. We got a high stick on somebody, probably the defensive player. Oh no, hitting the puck with a he high stick. He played it with a high stick. I think. So the number one line gets a goal and two assists. So Castle has two with an assist. Livingston has, oh sorry, Castle has two assists. Livingston has two goals tonight. Norton, Riley, Stoddard, O'Brien, and all have goals. <laughs> so good action down here, folks. Come on down, we got ourselves, last year I think the team went 16 and two. They made it to the finals. Yeah. Well, we won't talk about that game. Yeah, that well, a, we showed the semis. That was a hard game. <laughs> and, uh, well, a lot of them are going to remember it, and they want to be back. So if they're a first round, uh, if they're a top four team, they'll have a first Play round. What, though? They didn't score like this. How many games have we gone to running time? I well, mean, it's I, it been, a, be a, been a lot I think that's of good a games. Yeah, I think it's been a record this year. Good scoring team we got here. And they can skate. Well, they got a good spread uh, class-wise, too. It's not like you're senior heavy. They do have some good seniors, but they got, got, some, got good goaltending. Got uh, goaltending will be back. So. Got what you need to make a run. We're down to 750, so with running time, it's only about delayed offside. They decide to call it. They're going to move it way down because it looks like it was intentional. The hand was up, and the player went in. So on the rest of that schedule, uh, Concord will be playing. We heard we heard firsthand from somebody that was there that it was a pretty rugged game with BG. So look forward to a rugged game the last game last weekend. I think that's a Saturday. Give you the date here in a second, folks. McKinnon picks it up. Cross to Riley. He touched it, so there will be no icing. <coughs> Stoddard joins him. Back the other way. Macker's got a piece of that one, but dumped in. Down to forward. Six, 640 left. Played up. McKinnon across to Riley. He'll play it off the boards. Riley makes a move to the outside. Macris, can he pinch down? No. no. 
Forward over. Two four checkers in. Pulled back, lost an edge. He needs help. Backhand through. Nobody home on the far side. Everybody kind of abandoned him and left him out there. Save is made. The physicality's picked up a little bit again. We're down to right about, right about the exact same point when Concord kind of got a little tired Coming in the last here. period. Coming up here. No. It hit the thing. Came out. Okay. It was up, up in the rafters <laughs> above us, but it was coming. I ducked in, Peter. <laughs> it was coming our way. Hit we've one never the, had one up here, have we? And we had. Remember, we had. This. No, we had a guy. That was remember, close. Remember, we had a guy one year that worked with us. He was. Uh, a camera guy, yeah. Well, yeah, one and, came right across the and screen And he asked once. us, and he says, does a puck ever come up? And we said, no, not in, uh, it was about 10, 10 or 12 years in, and about two minutes later, it comes flying by, almost hit him. No, but one's never landed up here. I mean, they've come Sean, high level. Sean somebody or other, I forget his name. He lived up on Kent Street. So Concord, uh, the 24th uh, is uh, Bishop Girton will come to town, and it was a real barn burner. Uh, According to uh, according to one of the parents that was there, it was a it was a Pier Six brawl, and uh, so down last night. So come on over here on the 24th. Not that we're trying to uh, let you know there's going to be violence here, but we expect it'll be a <laughs> entertaining game. It's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> <laughs> entertaining game. It's gladiator. <laughs> come on, Charlie's trying to sell tickets to a hockey game. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the Bruins are uh, Bruins uh, retired. Bruins are in tomorrow. They're oh, yeah. advertising them for I, uh, a char for a charity. We're down to just about four minutes left here. Used to go to games, in when I was down in Florida, in a minor league game. Yeah, I and see. Uh, there was a team called the Florida Everblades playing the Miami Matadors. And throughout this whole game, these two guys were going at it. 30 mm. seconds left, right at the face-off. They looked at each other. The, the, the ref dropped the puck. They both just dropped their gloves and started swinging. <laughs> like 30 uh -huh. seconds left in the game. Yeah. They were just going for it. Yeah. It was brutal. <laughs> there was literally blood on the ice that game. <laughs> well, I've heard some old-time stories here about the Montreal police team coming down here and playing the, uh, I don't know if it was the Eastern Olympics or who it was. And uh, Is that when the dentists would, no, they, would be in the building handing out their cards? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was uh, apparently uh, they had played before and uh, the Concord, Concord player had a goon that was apparently pretty good on uh, fighting. So Montreal police went out and they got a, a boxer and they taught him to skate. Oh God! <laughs> and so, and so, apparently the uh, apparently uh, it, the place was packed. I mean, I used to come over when I was in law school, and it was uh, you know this was the only place to be. The Bruins, I don't think, were on TV then, and it was just you'd come here and the stands were packed. So anyway, the uh, the fight started right at the opening face-off, and then I, I don't know if the people in the stands got involved, but the police showed up and apparently uh, put the put the Montreal police hockey team on the bus in their skates. Oh, shot score! There it is, 22. 22. Zach, Zach Drew. Drew. That, that may be his first goal. He's so. a freshman. I believe that is his first goal, varsity so. goal. So they're probably gonna. They probably want the puck on that one. It might be. Separate puck. Time is running. So Concord goes nine to one. I, I don't know that for sure, but. Could be. We're down one minute and 30 seconds left. Oh, it's the, the post. post. 
I heard that distinctive clink. So even the freshmen are getting involved tonight. Hawkett dumps it in. We're down to just a little bit over a minute left. So anyway, they put the, uh, finish the story, they put the, uh, the Montreal hockey team in, in equipment and all on the bus, and then the police came and... Uh, Escorted them to the line. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they cleaned out the locker room and threw the, all the equipment on the uh, bus <laughs> and drove them to the town line and said, don't ever come back. <laughs> Down to 40 seconds here. Right. Macris over. 30 seconds to play. Always a quick period when the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, 20 down to 22 seconds. And the icing. Icing. Now well, that's it, folks. We're probably not going to get that face off in. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's it. So that was Zach Drew from Colin O'Brien. We'll hear that name a few times. Drew and O'Brien. So Concord, there they are. Good sportsmanship handshake. We were uh, we were wrong. We had guessed it would be someplace between OT and running time, but it got to running time in that third period. So Concord came out, showed no signs of having played a, a game out of town into no. overtime. Yeah. And uh, played the all the way down the bench. A little, like five minutes left in the second period. Looked like they got a little tired. Five minutes in the third. Looked like just for a second, but yeah. but so, it didn't last. So Exeter's in ninth place. The ten teams make the playoffs. Looks like Exeter will make the playoffs. And Concord is uh, goes to I think they go to 11 and two I believe. And uh, they'll be playing uh, Pinkerton on the 14th. And they've they've got. Uh, Hanover twice and BG one more time and Salem in there out of town. So Concord is goes to 11 and 2. Looking for a top four spot so they'll have a home game second time around. And there's our, there's our good sportsmanship uh, going over. These guys know each other, played together for quite a while. The coaches, they're old buddies. And I uh, want to thank you for watching and uh, come on down and uh, Concord should have one playoff game here in uh, late late February, early March, and we'll be we'll stay with the team as far as they go. And we made it to Verizon last year, and hopefully we make it to the victory ceremony uh, as well. So Charlie Russell for Concord TV, Peter Burgess, thank you for watching.